Hello and welcome everyone. I have a very tall, handsome king here, Darius, and a tall queen here as well. I'm a short king. I represent the short kings. <laughs> we uh, found our true height in person. Right? I was like, dang. Because, you know, YouTube, you know, because you guys are always sitting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you guys, they look the same height, like when you sit. So I was like, <laughs> my height, maybe. <laughs> and I'm always standing in my photos. So I probably look shorter in person. I don't know. I don't know. You know short kings always try to uh, it, posture everything. So we were we were expecting that because every time we we meet someone, they're like, "Oh, you're a lot taller than I was expecting." So we were kind of expecting that. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Well, that, there is a six that was, two. So that yeah. was six yeah. two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So that was my first interaction, y'all, and I'm so happy to be here. I'm really, really blessed. It is so cool to finally spend some quality time together in person. We are at the IBC Think Tank 2024. It's a two-day event. This is day one right now. And we're we're learning, we're improving. We're doing our part so that we can be better service providers to you guys that are looking at even a banking concept, um, you know, cash value life insurance, borrowing, leveraging, all the different things. So we're in, we're in Vegas. We're having a blast. Um, after this, we're going to go to dinner and actually hang out with a client. So shout out to Terry, who is a client of Wealth Nation and Finance Geek. So they have, she has a policy with both, so it's pretty awesome. Hey, Terry, we love you. We love you, Terry. <laughs> um, such a blessing. I know Terry's been working since like 2019. Mm -hmm. Was that around the mm -hmm. same time with you guys yeah. as well? Yeah, right around the same. Yeah, it, it's, well, I first have to say, um, Denzel had sent me a text like, hey, I'm going to the Think Tank. Are you guys going? And I told him, like, he really put the, the fire in us to go because we were like on the fence thinking about right. if we're going to go. Um, ever since we became parents, it's been hard for us to leave our, our baby at home, <laughs> even though she's uh, safely with her grandparents. So uh, you helped us get out of the house a little bit, Denzel. So thank you. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're the reason why we're here. Yeah. 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 Hey. Absolutely. So we're like, you know what, let, let, let's go ahead and get let's, out there. Yeah, let's make a phone call. Yeah, exactly. So what I'd like to do for today is just, this is just like uh, uh, for the fans. This is for the those of you that the OGs. Absolutely, yeah, you love our channels, you love what we do. We're not really, you know, trying to educate or sell today. This is just showing you how how we are, you know, off camera, but we're just recording, you know, these, these, these moments here. So just like an update, because the last time we did a video collab was 2020, right before COVID. And that video basically went viral. I think now at over 300, almost 500, uh, 400,000 views, almost, if I'm not mistaken. It's one of your most popular videos on YouTube channel. And I can honestly say that video is what launched my channel to the next level. Like I had doubled in, in subscribers and had all these people come in my way. And I'm like, okay, this is a real business. It's yeah. like, let me, let me get even more serious about it. Cause I was only in, you know, I started 2018 and I was only a year and a half, two years in. And, and that was confirmation that I'm, okay, I'm on the right path. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and let's take this further. So just a little update for my audience, just what's been going on and some primary, primary focus. Um, well, definitely comment on, on that video. So the video that we did, you know, we were just so excited to be able to have the collaboration um, with you. And I'd, we were joking too off camera that that video broke our business as well. Broke it in, in, in the best way possible, right? Because yes. we just didn't have the systems and the manpower uh, to, 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 to be able to serve everybody. So again, it was confirmation that what we were doing was meaningful, was impactful, and that uh, you all appreciate that the value that we're putting out there. So thank you so much for all of the support. Um, so updates. At that time, I was pregnant with our first child. Um, she is now three and a half. Um, and um, since then, we have had a second child. Um, unfortunately, she, she passed. It's been a year since she um, has not been with us. Um, so I would say just being parents and then having this experience um, with the, the death of a child, we recognize like how more impactful what we do matters. And we know like we always talk about cash value life insurance, you know, get, getting a loan from a policy, paying off debt, investing, whatever it is. It just really became apparent for, for me, speaking for me is just the importance of just life insurance and how everyone in the world has to have life insurance because that's the one thing that we know that's going to happen is death. And with our nine month old, we had a small policy on her um, and just even having that the, the death claims come to our family and, and, and being able to know how to properly utilize those funds um, so that it could fund our, our family uh, yes. legacy yes. was just a game changer in understanding yes. what we do from a different perspective. And so for me, I'd say that that's fueled what we do in in such a different way for, for me. Uh, do you want to add? Yeah, what I, I would add, I would say ditto to everything Carmen said. And then from a business perspective, I would say that we've uh, kind of dabbled a little more into the real estate space. 
um, than we have in the past, um, just because things have worked out for us in our favor and in, in us applying the information that we're that we've learned and continue to learn because this is a, a continuously uh, improving and learning process, and just applying the things to bigger deals, bigger opportunities, and seeing what what comes of it and what we can learn and pass on to our clients and people that watch our channel. Wow, and I'm assuming like the conviction that you have now is just 10x oh, yeah. yes now you guys did take a break mm -hmm. right so just talk a little bit about building a business building a family being wife husband mom da, 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 like how all this comes together and how how helpful building a community was in that process oh where gosh. you were where you can honestly say hey guys we're taking a break and we're gonna go handle some things here so that we can show up powerful. I think, and I'm sure you've seen it, we, and I'm sure some of our audience have been seeing online, you've seen a lot of YouTubers saying why I quit YouTube or why I'm quitting or how I'm retiring. It's really interesting because I don't think anybody really thought about that, no. you know, because we're like, we started YouTube, we started a community to leave the nine to five, not realize that you actually just bought another job. <laughs> right. Um, right. And having- You traded, you traded <laughs> right. the nine to five for uh, what? A 24/7. 24/7. That's 24 exactly. Seven. Yeah, that's it's exactly. 24 yeah, yeah. People emailing you at three o'clock in the morning on the on the west side and you're on the east or east and the west. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. oh my goodness. So talk so, to you a little bit about that. I think it's the the applications of the processes and systems that we put in our same banking system. We put inside of our business. So when you're consistent in your system and consistent in your business, you basically apply that to every. I would say that's been our saving grace. And the thing with YouTube is we never looked at YouTube itself as a business. We looked at it as a way to communicate more people than we could get in front of uh, physical. Yeah. So it was never like a way of income. It, the income was great, but it was just thinking about it as from a marketing standpoint, you put dollars into marketing, but we had the opportunity to make money from our marketing efforts. So I, I think that's probably the biggest thing is the processes and systems that we've learned from mistakes we made, processes and systems that we put into our banking system, mistakes that we've made with our banking system, same mistakes we make with our um, with our business and how we manage our finances and how we uh, look at the big picture. It's all one and the same. You're just putting it in different buckets. And additionally too, like the adjustment and taking breaks. We've taken a few breaks on YouTube. Um, so what I would say in addition to the systems is the people. So we have amazing, amazing, amazing people um, on the Wealth Nation team. I could cry thinking about it because um, they supported us through our, our first daughter when we were trying to figure out right. this parenting thing. And then, um, yeah, we just completely, you know, took a break off when, when we were uh, helping our, our other daughter because she had a lot of uh, medical issues and recognizing like our community that we had, they even stepped in and like taught classes when we weren't able to wow. show up, you know, like it was clients, clients you know, like volunteering, like I'll teach this week, you know, or whatever whatever it was and it was just phenomenal to see all the people that held us down um, during that time because you know we had our, our team and then like I said clients and everybody was like yes you know because the best part of what we do is we feel like we empower people so that they can feel like they have ownership and so that's the best part about this whole process is when you feel like you have ownership all you want to do is just share the information right so we want to be able to have everybody stand up and say yeah i want to share i want to say what i'm doing or what's happening and that's when we recognize like this what we're doing is so impactful yeah there's there's power uh, uh giving authority to others totally. as well allowing them to step into their authority when mm -hmm. you have yours as well mm -hmm. and i th i'm i'm really looking forward to the content that you guys are going to create from that perspective of of dealing with loss mourning grace how is it that you guys keep a smile? Like I've been observing you all day because I'm I'm preparing myself. Like I want to prepare. I want to understand how to have these conversations with my clients because being in the life insurance space, it's in it's inevitable. One of your clients is eventually someone's gonna pass. Life's gonna happen, and I, I haven't had a whole lot of experience with that yet. But I've had one case so far where a client purchased a life insurance policy the months later that woman um, now has cancer so so she you know has she's terminally and uh, the policy paid out mm -hmm. so i'm like oh it works yeah, yeah. You, you know, like yeah. in the back of my mind i'm always like you know are they gonna pay right yeah, yeah, yeah. but i'm like oh no this she just paid it and only two three months later she put whatever the information was in and it, it paid out yeah. while living so it, it these, these, what is the ROI on that? How do you measure that? It's, it's impossible. And so there's, there's, there's those conversations that I honestly, on my YouTube channel, don't have because I'm so focused on 
the logic, the, the performance policy and, and how design. policy design. And I'm like learning being at this event, hanging out with you guys. I'm like, oh, okay, so I need to talk about emotions. Got it. The <laughs> mindset. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. My audience knows me. I'm so logical. Case study numbers. You know, if you just follow, this will work. But it's like, what happens when I throw a monkey wrench you? And mm-hmm. Now, how do you respond? Which which is the emotion? Because when we think about money, money is all logic. It's all it does one job. But it's us that add that emotion to money itself and finances itself. So we have to speak to people where they are, which is the emotion that we bring to things that have no emotion. And, and also what I'd say too to that point, obviously we're sharing a microphone, so bear, bear, <laughs> bear, bear with Darius and I. Um, the What I felt, honestly, um, being completely transparent is when we experienced the death, I felt like there was a tremendous disservice that we have done our clients and our viewers in not having more of these questions. And it wasn't until we had that experience where it was like, oh my God, like, do people even know how to submit a death claim? Do people even know how the payout happens? Like, this is a whole nother world that we didn't even talk about. And once we had that experience, we're like, oh my gosh, we have such an immense opportunity to teach from a different perspective. Yeah, yeah, I would say when when a client passes, it's different. Yeah. Like a, a, if a client was a past, it's not something that you, you can talk about to your audience. But when it happens to you, it's all different ball game. It's, now it's God has ball. positioned you mm-hmm. with your audience, with your following, with your influence. Now be able to speak to that. So you found the the grace, the blessing in a in a tragedy. Mm-hmm. And, and it, immediately, immediately, because immediately, that's, our, that's, really? our, that's our purpose. Wow. That's our purpose. That's why we continue to smile. I mean, even we even like at our, our daughter's funeral, we didn't have a traditional funeral. We spoke the entire time about the experience that we've had and how much love that we've learned about uh, a different level of learn, love that we learned about through the experience. And it's there so that we can share with other people. Wow. Because some people can't see the love and the, uh, the blessing, the blessing that of people bring to you that people bring to you and how how death makes you appreciate life so much. Absolutely. So a year break that was 20, uh, 2020. 2022, 2023. Right. Yeah. And so now I've been seeing you guys, you know, posting mm-hmm. more consistently. Now I'm like, oh, snap. <laughs> we're, we're getting it back on the horse. <laughs> I'm like, it's coming up. It's coming up. So now fast forward is 2024. It's February. What's your focus now? How, how, are you are you changing the way you deliver content now on YouTube and high Mary's Gus? Okay, so we go back and forth. And again, full transparency. We've tried different styles on our channel and they've completely yeah. crashed and burned. And so then we keep going back to like the traditional way. Um, but we also know that we have to be true to ourselves and what we feel like people like about the Wealth Asian channels are authenticity. And so we know that our style will probably evolve and change in yeah. the future. We don't know, necessarily know what that's going to be, um, but we, we definitely feel like you'll probably see more of our day-to-day lifestyle and how we incorporate finding our lives because we recognize that a financial conversation doesn't always happen in a perfect staged environment where Darius and I are talking about a specific topic. Mm-hmm. You know, finance happens at the at the coffee table, driving in the car, you know, picking our daughter up, or whatever and, it looks like. And the fact that we're not perfect, we still have mistakes with our, our system. The only difference is the fact that we acknowledge our mistakes and we move forward with the information that we have. Yeah, absolutely. So now that you're, you're back on a rhythm, um, there's another thing that you've had called the money school. Mm-hmm. Right? I want to talk to my audience oh, about this because I had the, the privilege mm-hmm. of collaborating on the back end. This was not on, on YouTube, but it was off YouTube in your community in the very, very earliest stages yeah. of the money school. So if you could give uh, my audience an update on that as well. Some may know, but most probably don't. What the money school is, how that works, and anything else you'd like to before sure. we close out. Well, thank you. Thank you for allowing us the, the platform. So um, we created the money school because what Darius and I recognized was through our journey, we wanted to surround ourselves with other people who were doing similar things. And we also recognized, too, when you get a policy, that's like the beginning stages. Yeah. You know, you do all the research, and that's great, but it's not until you have the policy in your hand, you're like, oh, my God, what now? Mm-hmm. And so we recognized that we needed a place where everyone to come feel comfortable and have conversations about what mm-hmm. we're all May doing. May I interject? Yeah, please. Um, when when you work with clients and they do all that homework of studying the concept, <laughs> picking the perfect design, you customize and you do all that work, does it sometimes feel like all of it goes out the door once they've signed? Oh, totally. Is it just, okay, totally. so it's not just me. Like, yeah. I'm like, am I doing something yeah. wrong? No, no. Well, we wish you all would understand that. <laughs> <laughs> I say that with so much that's, love. That's just the start of it. The real work happens after you have your policy in place because we're talking yeah. about the, cyclation, the cycling of money mm-hmm. for your family system, not just for you right now, but most importantly for three generations from now. Yeah, I, I think it's nerves too. Like, they 
they just signed a check for 30,000, yeah, 50 they, grand. They yeah. have it in there. Mm-hmm. And then we have a call and they're like, it's real. Now what? And I'm yeah. like, oh, oh, oh remember all that stuff we talked about? about? <laughs> we're going to pay all, all that, that debt, right? We're, 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 we're going to make that invest. You said you were going to do the, the real estate thing. And, and oh, now it's Bitcoin. Ah, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is all the stuff we did with in the background. That's exactly what it is, though, right? Because um, that then you don't become a, a, a true banker or have that ownership until that policy is in your hand. And when you have that policy in your hand, then all of a sudden the game changes and everything that you studied goes out the window. It's like studying for yeah. the SATs, right? You study, study, study for the SATs, you take the test and, and you're like, blank. Oh, yeah. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and so, it's just like stuff kicks in. You start remembering <laughs> as you what? Do it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh that's right. That remember the <laughs> thing that I kept telling you 12 times? So that's what the money school is about, bringing all of that back and, and teaching. And we have supplemental education, so on demand courses on the money school we do coaching uh, in a mastermind ca- capacity twice a month we also do uh, monthly coaching for just d- the different tiers of, of membership that we have so we wanted to be able to take our subscribers off of YouTube and have more intimate conversations yes. more in-depth conversations because there's only so much we can say on a YouTube channel there's only so much policy design we can talk about but we that we really save like the policy design and the application for off YouTube because that there's just so much more that goes goes into it than somebody can say in a 20 minute soundbite. That's right. And you guys also have hosted a, a live event. Yes. You've done some retreats. So yes. I, I had my first live event last year. Mm-hmm. Blown away. That was a growth thing for me. I overcame a lot of you know issues I was dealing with and like right on the spot mm-hmm. and talking, being vulnerable with my audience, letting them know the things that I'm struggling with, working on, being vulnerable with them. Uh, you know, we're, we're not all perfect on YouTube. Like we've got our, our right. junk too, even though we, we appear perfect and we, yeah. and we show mm-hmm. because we're trying to, yeah, you we know, have editors. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we have editors. Exactly. If you would know what it took for us to do this. Oh yeah. So we need, be to, like, we need to take a picture of the, of the <laughs> studio setup. so you see, you can see what it looks like. Yeah. We're w- watching everybody go by. Yeah. They're looking, yeah. At, us. They're looking at us crazy. Like, listen. What are they? Oh, they're YouTubers. Yeah. <laughs> Those crazy kids. TikTokers. So talk about the retreat and then we'll close out and mm-hmm. we're going to go have dinner. Yes. yes. So okay. So I can talk about a retreat. Um, so next month, what's the month? <laughs> April 4th April. and 5th. So <laughs> April. Well, it's, 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 it's late February now, or next month, mm-hmm. April. So uh, next week, what we plan on is uh, inviting uh, next, month. next month. What we plan on doing <laughs> is just inviting our um our money school members to hang out with us for two days in dc where not only do we talk we share we uh collaborate we understand what other people are doing because i'm a firm believer of your net worth your network becomes your network and if you can surround yourself with other like-minded people you make things a lot easier for yourself and and that's what really worked out for us and we want that to happen for everybody in our community. And in addition, like the topics and things that we talk about. So we're really excited because our personal, we'll call her a life coach. She's not a life coach, but we call her a life coach. She's going to be there um, talking about mindset and how it pertains to money. Um, We have so many different breakout sessions where we're going to be talking about um, life insurance and retirement, how to uh, design a policy for those opportunities, how to design, somebody just wave it at us, how to design life insurance policies for, you know, whatever solution it looks like. And we're really just going to be going over practical life applications because that's really where this takes off is how do I use this thing and how do I use it in a manner that serves me and as we close out we want to give my audience your line the branding oh well <laughs> own, own your own lifestyle or someone else will <laughs> absolutely god bless everyone thank you and we'll be talking soon